Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 21st of the November Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Um, yeah, just not gonna lie, I have to get on a, a transportation in a, ooh, in a few hours, so I am going to rush a little bit. My apologies. My, my, my system's all out of whack. I'm feeling a little sick as well. Uh, it's been wet, uh, raining all day here in Buenos Aires, and as a result, I don't know. I just feel like I'm a little under the weather, a little bit underdressed, probably. I mean, I have to stuff. I don't know why I just didn't put it on. But, uh, like, I have a rain jacket, but I didn't. I was like, eh, what are the odds? The odds is 100% that I am an idiot. But in any case, um, all right. So let, let's kind of uh, get through this one. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, I am going to be, uh, yeah, in. Uh, I'm hoping to go to uh, Monday Rodeo this weekend. So. Yeah, if you have any last-minute tips, let me know. Uh, all right, so anyway, today we have 1930, unique length three palindromic subsequences. Okay. We can string S, we turn the number of unique palindromes of length three that are subsequences of S. Okay. Uh, subsequence is pretty funny. I mean, the key thing is that there's only length three. Three lengths makes it a little bit easier to kind of just... Um, enumerate every possibility, right? Uh, uh, the other key thing, of course, is that we're doing alphabets. An alphabet means that we have 26 letters instead of maybe a, a series of numbers or something like that, right? Um, and then because there are three characters and the pound drums, there's only really 26 times 26 because the third character doesn't matter because the third character is basically the first character, right? By definition. So then it's just kind of basically count uh, so what, how I would think about this problem then now, uh, and I'm just going over my thought process, maybe it's not as educational as it, um, in terms of like building up, but this is basically how I'm thinking about it as I'm talking about it, right? Uh, but yeah, but now that I have 26 times 26, we're probably in good place. Double check N, N is big, of course, because if it's not, then maybe it's even easier. But N is 10 to the fifth, so you have to do something like, you know, O of N or N log N or something like that, right? N squared would be too slow. Okay, so then... <clears throat> now the the key thing then it is just um yeah uh i mean you could kind of think about it in brute force but it really it's it's um yeah uh, um i don't know this i'm trying to think about what's the best way to describe it um it is going to be dynamic programming that's the spoiler um and the way that i always write this is bottoms up just because you're accumulating a lot of things um it's just you just i actually don't know if i know how to do it top down per se so definitely if you did it that way let me know in the comments but the idea here is that for every character it's almost because the way that i think about it and of course there is dynamic programming component but the way that i think about it's more like a, a sliding not a sliding window the other one sweep line uh, algorithm right where basically we have you know for example we have a a b c a and this is very similar to um what is the problem that i'm thinking of i don't know uh, i'm thinking of a problem but i can't remember what i'm thinking about I don't know. Also, my disclaimer is that I, I got the yellow fever vaccine the other day. And I think it's like really draining my body and I'm not respecting it enough. So my last couple of days have been kind of, you know, and I still got to get, you know, get out of here. So hopefully, um, yeah. But the idea here is that, okay, so we have a, um, a sweep line and then basically the sweep line goes with one character at a time. And then the, the question is just asking, okay, did we at current character C, right? Um, we can brute force in a way. We're going to enumerate, uh, okay, well, I uh, don't know why I'm telling you. If the current character is um, the first of the, the subsequence, right? And then if, the other one is if the current character is the second middle, right? And then third is if the current character is the third of the subsequence. And from that, I think that's, Kind of all you have to do and and you could call it dynamic programming for sure and i certainly do but this is basically how you would think about um how to build that out and just keeping track of the count right because what i mean by that is okay if it's the first of the subsequence okay i mean that's it's just the first right um so you do nothing and then if it's the second then now um you know uh, maybe not in a naive way you may have you know, for example, we're at C, in a naive strategy, you might have gone through, you know, okay, well, what if the previous character was B? What if the previous character is A? What if the previous character is A? Well, here we notice that we set A twice, and because we are only limited by 26 characters, we can just 
instead of going previous as an A, previous as an A, you just go, well, let's just do previous as an A, but how many of them are there, right? So you just keep track of the count. Um, and a similar idea for the third um, character, right? Because now, um, let's say you have A, well, you know what the previous character is, or, or you can enumerate the previous character, the middle character, because there's only 26 of them, and you know what the first character is because, well, it has to be the same character, right? And then you kind of just add them all up and you should be good. That's basically kind of my, my idea for this one. And yeah, let's get started. Is there any mod things? Does it not get too big? Hmm. I mean, I guess not, but I would have thought so. Uh, or maybe it just fits in long, long in 64-bit and in Python, it doesn't matter. It's still a little weird, though. I, 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 I'm a fan. Anyway, anyway, so for character in string, we go, if the current character is the first, well, nothing happens, right? <laughs> because, you know, uh, well, we, we, we add stuff for tracking later, but nothing really happens, right? And now, if the current character is the second, right, then maybe we have, like, a... Um, I don't know, pre one maybe, just the collections that counter. Though this only has twenty six things because there's only twenty six previous character, right? Uh, then now uh, enumerate the previous character, right? So then uh, for p in uh, I, I maybe we could switch that keys. Maybe that's a little bit slightly. I mean, it's a small optimization. That's why I hesitate because I think it kind of I don't know. All right, let's. But yeah. <coughs> Uh, yeah, right. And then now C plus or, or the other way around, P plus C, um, right. Now we 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 increment the count here, right. And also here we should increment the count C, I suppose. But the 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 thing is that you have to do them in an order. Um, I guess you don't have to actually for this one. I'm because I I mean it depends how you write it specifically. But yeah, but here you can write um you know setting it up. Right for for the future, right? Um, and actually, no, uh, you have to do it the other way. Otherwise, it interferes with the keys, right? Because you you might have just created a new key of itself. But anyway, uh, yeah. And then now, previous two of this increment by one, right? And then now, finally, <clears throat> if the current character is the last, then now, um, yeah. Uh, for well, you can't do the same trick here because the previous key i mean you can but it's not doesn't really make sense because previous two has a combination of two characters right so you can maybe maybe uh, you could probably be a little bit smarter but i'm not going to be it's going to be a what's it called ascii lowercase i always forget if it's ascii lowercase or lowercase ascii i just put p real quick because i always forget uh and see if it come okay because sometimes it i mean when, when you're wrong it just come it just said like function not found or something, right? Anyway, so here this is the previous one, right? So then now C plus P. Um, because then now this is the previous count. So then now we add it to total, right? Um, and then that should be good. Hopefully. <laughs> it is not. Why? Oh, I, I think I double counted. The, I didn't actually was thinking about this, but then I just kind of forgot. Um, <clears throat> Oop, what did I do? I mean, I clearly zoomed in by accident. Cannot zoom back out. All right, let's refresh. Hopefully that fixes it. It does not. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Uh... All right, what are we doing? Seven, huh? Uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, we could print all the stuff. So yeah, uh, maybe current. Uh, I think we we don't handle the, we probably double count this a little bit. Um. Maybe that would be my guess anyway. Okay, so B rep one, right? And then second B rep two Bs. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, okay, no, this is still right. Uh, rep C, so then two Bs, one C, that's f fine. Uh, B, B, and B, C, also true, okay. Uh, maybe I need to print total just in, in case it doesn't. Uh, hmm. No, uh, okay. <coughs> hmm. 
Okay, so the last character is A. A, B, A should have one, so that's good. Um, the second character is B. B, it claims to have four. Because B, A, B. Did I misread something? Oh, oh, I just, okay. Sorry, I I, I just, it, it's a uh, different problem, right? If there are multiple ways to connect, it's still only kind of one. So, okay, so honestly, it's just different problem. Um, and as you can see, this would be the way to do it without that. But now, um, but yeah, now we can maybe do something like, um, eh, we just can convert these two sets. And the same idea is just that I totally misread it. <laughs> so we, we stopped the bonus problem. Uh, so then now total dot um, add c plus p p plus c right something like that right and then two dot add p plus c same idea right uh, no keys oh yeah okay right. Uh, oh yeah, uh, what am I doing? Return the length. I'm just lazy. I, I maybe rushed a little bit. Okay, this is definitely wrong. Um, oh, 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 we don't add every one of these. Okay, I, I, I mean the original one, I guess I'm, I was a little bit sloppy. Because in this case, we know that the previous exists, so this is fine in either case. But here, most of it was just zero, which is fine previously, but then you can't add them anymore. So you have to check um, if um, C, uh, C plus P in here, then now we can add this one. Very uh, obvious thing, so let, let's give a quick submit. Uh, yeah. What's the complexity, right? Uh, well, a little bit on the slower side, but this is going to be N. This is going to be O of alpha, alpha, so it's going to be O of alpha times n, which is n times 26, which is maybe fast enough. Uh, people did it much faster though, so I thought I did some crazy things. Um, oh, what, what, what was going on? What did I do? Oh, what? Uh, I'm not, I, I mean, okay, I, okay, that is nuts. I mean, I get it, but also nuts. Uh, meet in the middle. What, what is the past Larry doing? Like, does, does he have time? I guess so. Um, I think this is basically what we did now, right? Um, hmm. Maybe. Still faster. There, there must be some optimization. Um, oh, oh, I see. So, oh yeah, be, uh, well... The, I, I see, I see. The reason why I did it my way was because, as you saw, I was doing the count version, right? The count the number total version, which, and then I was like, okay, well, I clearly misread it. So let's do the, let's change it up so that it works. But as a result, I didn't do optimization that maybe would have been more reasonable if you had start by reading it correctly, right? Um, for example, you know, like maybe you can make some assumptions that I didn't do today. But yeah, uh, still linear though. Linear uh, n times alpha, maybe, depending on how you want to call it linear. So that is all I have for today. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.